Redemption. Elon Musk's $97.4 billion buyout. OpenAI is the target. Let's get into it. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much once again joining me for Tea Time. Today we have a little bit of fireside. So good, so good. I hope you're joining me with your cup of tea, maybe a cup of coffee, hanging out, talking tech, talking photo, talking video. Today is a technology day. We're gonna be talking about AI, Elon Musk, Altman. <sighs> what is going on with OpenAI? Is it going to be bought by Elon Musk? Well, he put out an offer and that offer was $97.4 billion. Yep, with a B, billion dollars. Could it happen? We're gonna get into that today. I was reading a bunch of articles and I put it all together for you so you don't have to go and research it. I already did it for you. And I'm gonna give you my thoughts on it, but more importantly, I wanna hear from you. What do you think about all of this? What do you think about AI in general? What do you think about the path of open AI that was originally open that is now closed? Anyways, I'm gonna get into all of this today, but before I do, I just wanna say that if you enjoy the content, throw it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, do all of those things. Sharing, most important. Share the channel, share the video. That is very helpful. If you are subscribed, thank you. Click this little button over here, notification button, so when I go live or when a new video comes out, you'll be notified of it immediately, if not sooner, according to Google. YouTube, why don't you just do it? <laughs> also, if you just wanna say thank you for all of my hard work, I appreciate that. There's a little thank you button right down here. You can click on that, give a dollar or two if you like. If not, it's perfectly fine. Consider becoming a member of the channel. That would be even better. And if you want more Starlink specific content, I'll put a link right here. Don't click on it yet. Elon Musk, SpaceX Starlink. 420 videos, I think, that I put together in the last 40 plus months just for you. I'm sure a lot of you guys are into SpaceX Starlink. Check them out when you're done watching this video. A lot of helpful how-tos, tips, tricks, what to do, what not to do, what to buy, what not to buy, and all of the why behind it. Finally, if you haven't downloaded any of my eBooks, check them out. They are free just for you being here. Go to jcristina.com forward slash books. jcristina.com forward slash books. So now that all the promotion is done, I appreciate you hanging in there with me or just skipping forward. Whatever works out. We're going to jump right into this article. Then once again, I'll give you my commentary. And finally, I want to hear from you down below. And if you don't want to put something down there, put an emoji. That'll make me very happy. At least I know that you're here and you listened to my nonsense. Appreciate that. Elon Musk versus Sam Altman, the billion dollar AI showdown. In an audacious play that could redefine the landscape of artificial intelligence or AI, Elon Musk has lobbed a $97.4 billion offer to buy OpenAI, the company he once co-founded but dramatically departed from. It isn't just a business transaction, it's the climax of a saga brimming with ambition, betrayal, and the quest for control over the future of AI. The Musk-Altman Rift the relationship between Musk and OpenAI CEO Sam Altman reads like a Silicon Valley soap opera. Musk's vision for OpenAI was one of open source, safety first, but the shift for a for-profit model under Altman's leadership was where the vision diverged. Musk's exit in 2018 was marked by a bitter taste of disagreement over control and direction. An insider from those tumultuous times had said, quote, Musk wanted the keys to the kingdom, but Altman had his own roadmap. A public spat with a twist. When Musk's offer hit the headlines, Altman responded with a post on X, quote, No thank you, but we will buy Twitter for $9.74 billion if you want. <laughs> I love this stuff. You can't get enough of it. Just eating that popcorn. This playful yet pointed remark was not just a dismissal, but a jab at Musk's own recent acquisition, underscoring the personal stakes in this corporate drama. Musk's AI fears and the XAI counterstrike. Musk's fears about AI spiraling out of human control have been a narrative thread through his career. His establishment of XAI was both a counter move to what he saw as OpenAI's commercial drift and a platform to push for an AI that aligns with human values. 
Who would have thunk such a thing? Musk stated, quote, we must ensure AI accelerates human scientific discovery while keeping ethics at the forefront. His offer to buy OpenAI is not just a power play, but a philosophical stand. The battle for OpenAI's soul. Musk bid isn't merely financial. It's a battle for the philosophical direction of AI. He seeks to return OpenAI to its original mission, one he believes has been lost in the chase for profit. Quote, I want to take OpenAI back to being the force for good it was meant to be highlighting his intent to merge XAI's technology with OpenAI's to create a new beacon of ethical AI development. The current standoff. Despite the allure of Musk's offer, Altman's stance is clear. He's steering OpenAI towards a monumental $40 billion funding round, aiming for a valuation that could dwarf Musk's bid. The legal skirmishes continue, with a recent court decision allowing Musk's lawsuit against OpenAI to proceed, adding yet another layer of complexity to this high-stakes drama. The AI Crossroads, Musk vs. Altman This showdown between Musk and Altman isn't merely about corporate governance. It's a pivotal moment that could dictate AI's trajectory. Under Musk's vision, AI might prioritize human-centric values, potentially slowing down its commercial exploitation, but fostering innovation that truly benefits society. Conversely, Altman's path could accelerate AI's integration into our daily lives, potentially at the cost of ethical oversight, leading to a future where AI might outpace our ability to control or understand its implications. The outcome will not only define who holds the reins of open AI, but will influence how AI shapes our jobs, our privacy, and our very existence. The tech world, and indeed the world at large, watches with bated breath, knowing that the direction chosen here will echo through generations, either as a legacy of human empowerment or as a cautionary tale of unchecked technological growth. I can't agree more. Absolutely. So if you guys don't know with this whole open AI and what Elon Musk did with Grok and with XAI, open AI started with Musk and Altman and like a couple of other visionaries, let's say, over dinner, let's call it. And they talked about creating something that was to go directly against Google. That was the whole purpose. But the idea was to keep it open. Elon Musk came up with the name OpenAI at the time because once again, it was supposed to be open source, supposed to be open to everyone so that everyone could benefit from AI. And what ended up happening is Altman went another direction. He went a commercial direction. Instead of a nonprofit direction, he went for profit. So in 2018, Elon Musk broke away. Now, people don't know this either, but he was said to had pledged, let's say, $1 billion to OpenAI at the time. And once again, in 2018, when he broke free of them and said, listen, I'm out, so did his money go away. And Altman the rest of them had to now find funding. And to find funding, sometimes that means going commercial. So which came first, the chicken or the egg? Is OpenAI commercial because Elon Musk stopped funding or is OpenAI commercial just because Altman is the way Altman is? That's a question to ask, I suppose. But I also think it's interesting on how passionate Elon Musk was about OpenAI. I mean, there was nights, according to many sources, where instead of him working on Tesla or on SpaceX, he would go and start working side by side with the OpenAI engineers coding during these hackathons, as he would call it. So he was very, very entrenched in it. He really thought there'd be something amazing. And then Altman did what he did. So now there's lawsuits going on. And according to a judge, a judge said, listen, you know, some of these lawsuits hold water and we're gonna let them go through. They're not frivolous. So that's a good thing, I suppose, if you're Elon Musk. But I do think it's funny how Altman came back. Now, you know what? 
You're not going to buy us for $97.4 billion. We'll buy Twitter. Of course, he has to call it Twitter instead of X. We'll buy Twitter for $9.74 billion. <laughs> I love that, right? What is it? 10%. So, you know, this is just how they just kind of go back and forth. This is how billionaires play. All right. Um, but the way I look at this is I really want to see Elon Musk's vision hold true. And the reason being is I do believe AI could be something that could be used nefariously and it could definitely go out of control. All right. I know people think about this and like how a machine can go out of control and how is that even possible? Well, it is. It's 100% possible. And what ends up happening with these models is they become more and more smart. Just recently, I talked about DeepSeek. Well, DeepSeek is a Chinese-based alternative, let's say, to OpenAI, but they were truly open. They gave the code to everyone. And at that time, when I did that story, I said, listen, the code is out there. I guarantee you all the rest of these players are going to start using their code because it is that good. And what ended up happening? That's exactly what happened. There is some portions now of that deep seek in all the rest of these AI platforms like OpenAI or Elon Musk calls it closed AI. So my hope is that they really kind of lock down this AI deal because what people don't understand is like I said before, AI is getting smarter and smarter and smarter. And what will happen, it will get to a point where it knows and it understands human thought. It understands emotion and feeling. And then it will start to be able to pull on the heartstrings of us by making certain claims and statements to move you or swing you in a certain direction very softly, subtly. Okay, that is the fear. The fear to me is not a Whopper computer that goes and launches ICBMs, intercontinental ballistic missiles, nukes. That's not the fear. The fear is how it can take control slowly, softly, silently in the background. Okay, by moving the pendulum one way or another, skewing things, once they fully understand us, and once again, what pulls on our heartstrings and makes us move one way or another. And this is not something in the future. This is something now. It can do it already, all right? It can do it already. And that's a problem. It's a major problem. And Elon Musk has sounded this alarm for many years already, but no one listens or very few people listen. So hopefully something happens with this. Will Elon Musk be able to buy out OpenAI? I doubt it. I seriously doubt it. I think OpenAI will put out that $40 billion funding round and I think they're gonna get it and even more because remember, they're commercial now, okay? They'll be able to sell out, let's say, to the highest bidder in comparison to what Elon Musk is doing with an open system. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, throw it a thumbs up. That'll be very, very helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and share and do all of those things. And finally, head over to my website, jchristina.com, where you can find all the photography tools I've invented for you and me over the many years and my merch and my tees and my books and my shirts and everything else. Check it out. Go to jchristina.com. If there's something there you like, pick it up. Help support me and my family. Many blessings to you and your family. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay connected. We'll see you in the next one. Love y'all.